Class of 2020, I was really excited to come back to Lancaster to celebrate your graduation with all of you in person. But this is the best we're gonna do. I wanna start by thanking Superintendent Wagner and Principal Uppenau for asking me to give this address. It's truly, truly an honor. My name is Casey Schwab, 2006 LHS grad. And yes, that is Schwab, like Brooke. Shout out to Brooke Schwab. Also shout out to Logan Schneider, another one of my cousins, and Isaiah Place, who I've gotten to know over the last couple of years. Class of 2020, I wanna start by saying I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you missed the end of your senior year. I'm sorry that you missed all of those activities that go with it. And I'm sorry that you missed your graduation in person. That sucks, it really does. But now, it's time to get over it. And I don't wanna sound harsh, so please, please don't turn the recording off. But what I mean is this, in the face of adversity, you can either fold and you can feel bad for yourself, or you can flip it around and turn it into an opportunity. And that's what I wanna to talk to you about class of 2020, are three specific opportunities that I see for you right now during this pandemic. Number one, find your why. A lot of folks are probably asking you, what's next? What are you gonna do now that you're graduated? That's a perfectly appropriate question, but what I think the better question is, is why you are about to do what you're about to do next. You see, my sister, Miranda, Mrs. Furstenberg, she found her why very, very early. Her why was to teach, to follow the footsteps of our mother and to teach. Me, on the other hand, I'm sometimes behind my sister and uh, it's taken me a little bit longer to ask myself why. So when I graduated from Lancaster, I went to Madison for undergrad, then I moved to Los Angeles for law school, then I worked for the NFL, then Fox Sports, and more recently I moved to Washington, D.C., where we are now, um, to work for the NFL Players Association, the union for the NFL. And <clears throat> very recently, I asked myself, why am I making all these moves and climbing the ladder and doing all these things? And, and I came to two conclusions. I wanna build, and like my sister, I wanna teach. And you notice neither of those things have anything to do with the NFL or uh, going to Super Bowls or, or sports even. So the sooner you can find your why, class of 2020, the sooner you can get on the path that, you're, that, that is gonna be most fulfilling to you and you can use those whys as your guidepost in the next chapter and the chapters beyond that in your career and your life. So find your why, number one. Number two, listen. Along with the pandemic, this country has seen the latest in the civil rights movement in Black Lives Matter. Now, I don't think any of us know quite what to say when it comes to this topic. So maybe, maybe we should all listen more. We can all listen better. So class of 2020, now is a great time to pick up your phone well, uh, you're, you're actually probably all already on your phone. So use your phone to text someone, to Zoom someone, to house party someone that doesn't look like you, that doesn't talk like you, and doesn't think like you. And ask them what it's like to be them. And listen, we can all listen better. So number one, find your why. Number two, listen and number three most importantly right now is a great opportunity for all of you class of 2020 to hug your mom my sister and i lost our mom in november uh mrs schwab some of you probably had her for kindergarten and i can tell you from experience that you will never ever regret hugging your mom now of course you can hug your dad too and you can hug your siblings i mean it hug your siblings this pandemic has done something interesting, right? It's, it's, it's alienated us from the outside world. But those closest to us that we live with, it's brought us closer because we can't go anywhere. We can't do anything. And trust me, too much family isn't always a good thing. I get it. Um, just ask my wife, who when I started working from home, she, she's, she always works from home. Um, I would come into her office after a phone call and she'd be, out, she'd be working and, and I would say like, what are you doing? And she'd go, um, I'm, I'm working. And I'd be like, okay, um, want to do something? And she'd be like, 
no, <laughs> I'm working. <laughs> so I get it, but embrace this time. Because I promise you in five years from now, you're gonna look back and you're gonna miss this time that you had with your family. So hug your mom. So number one, find your why. Number two, listen. And number three, hug your mom. Class of 2020, this pandemic is part of your narrative. So I ask you, what are you gonna do with it? I suggest that you own it. Class of 2020, congratulations again. Good evening. Well, I've been late many times in the world. I did not expect to be late to my own graduation. Since I was first supposed to give this speech on May 24th, it's been 47 days. In other words, that's 1,128 hours or 67,680 minutes. To put that in terms of high school, that could have been 4,512 of YouTube crash course US history videos. We could have gone to the Europe with the music department nine times. We could have had 282 track meets, baseball or softball games, soccer matches, or golf invitations. Mrs. Glenn could have assigned 2,256 module assessments for AP Psychology. And all of that time could have been just one regular conversation with Mr. Murphy. Indeed, the last few months have been historical, to say the least, and the region effects have touched every corner of the world. When faced with challenging times, all of us have choices to make. Our perception of the world determines our actions, so it's critical to have a positive attitude. None of us here today could have predicted a year ago the events of the past few months. Here are the major events that have gripped our nation. The year 2020 started with our government going through the impeachment process of President Donald Trump. Soon after, we lost one of the greatest basketball players of all time, Kobe Bryant, along with his daughter and members of her basketball team. The loss of this American icon to senseless tragedy sent shockwaves throughout our nation. Mere weeks after this loss, our world was completely shook to the core. COVID-19 made a sudden entry into everyday life and we soon realized that our senior year was never going to be the same. Finally, to cap it all off, a series of racially charged actions set off a series of protests from coast to coast, culminating in violent riots across the nation, including in Madison, Wisconsin. In every generation, there exists a defining moment, and I feel, without a doubt, that this year is our moment. Instead of focusing on what was lost, I need to focus on the good that has been done within our community in hopes to inspire you to try and see these difficult times as the optimum environment for personal growth. To start, I'd like to focus on the amazing things within our own community. We have a lot to be proud of. First, the school provided 48,062 meals to students and their families over the past two months, according to Ms. Dorothy. Linda Bender of the Lancaster Food, Men Food Pantry reports that donations in March, April, and May increased by over 250%. I talked to the staff at the hospital and I was told of countless selfless actions by members of our community. Our healthcare heroes were treated with lunches and goods and were given homemade personal protective equipment, including by the Lancaster Tech Department. Anyone driving around town can see the thousands of hearts posted in homes visited, proclaiming a message of hope to all citizens. Hundreds of free dairy products have been given out, supporting both families and dairy farmers. On May 24th, which was meant to be the day that we would all have gotten together to celebrate our high school graduation, our fire department and EMS threw, threw our class a parade through town. In those two hours, we felt the love and support of the entire community. Instead of remembering our senior year by what we missed out on, let's remember what we gained. How to work independently and ask for help. Patience, extra family time, and a sense of being part of a community larger than high school. At this time, I'd like to extend a hand of gratitude to numerous people who have supported me and the rest of our class through the last four years, and especially this year. First, I'd like to thank our teachers and coaches. Each and every one has spent countless hours creating an environment for ourselves to be the best we could be. Thank you and your support is greatly appreciated. Second, our parents deserve recognition. Thank you for your toil, tears, and compassion in making our lives into what they are today. Finally, the administration of Lancaster Schools must be recognized for the relatively smooth transition into online learning during this challenging time. 
Now I'd like to recognize a very special person who could not be here today. Caitlin Rankin, daughter of Ben and Sarah Rankin, was a member of our class. However, childhood cancer stole her away while in kindergarten. She is and always will be greatly missed, and she will be remembered for her upbeat attitude. In every age, there have been great challenges, and people who consistently step up to the plate and attempt to address these challenges are the ones who we, as a society, most admire. To become one of these great people is very simple. One just needs for a place to spare or hold. To conclude, in kindergarten, we're going to learn ABCs. And as COVID-19 is a C word, today we're working on letter C. To become happier during this time, simply replace the following C words. Cancel, close, can't, and conflict with community, caring, courage, compassion. And finally, one of my favorite C words, Chocolate. 2020 graduates, have a sweet life. Welcome, graduates, family, friends, faculty, and anyone, anyone else tuning in. Thank you for celebrating with us. It's a big day. And although it's taken a while, we're finally here. We're graduating. This is a big moment in our lives. We are no longer boys and girls, because now, we're big boys and big girls. Except for Kate, who's been a big boy since like sixth grade. I would like to start off by thanking the teachers. First, the English department. I was always able to score pretty high on my English test, so I just wanted to say thank you for teaching me so much good. Second, in my financial literacy class with Pro, I learned how to fill out a W3 cash book. And shout out to Keats in the 2020 physics class, Devo and James. I learned that the Earth is in fact flat. Thank you. Lastly, a quick tip for the underclassmen: don't put off reading your book for English class and then read it during the choir. No, not a good idea. Gotta watch out for the choir teacher. You don't want to see him mad. But being his class, I've heard you like him. In all seriousness, though. On behalf of my classmates, I would like to thank each and every teacher, coach, principal, anyone who's ever attempted to teach us anything. Thank you for going above and beyond, for dedicating your time to help some annoying kids become better people. I'd especially like to thank Mr. Elkinoff, Mr. Wagner, Mr. Reynolds, Mr. Huey, Mrs. Fox, and my dad. For those of you who don't know, they took practically a whole day and visited every graduate to deliver our diplomas and congratulate us personally. Thank you to Mr. McCartney and everyone who was involved in the parade, including those who stepped out, to, uh, stepped out of their house to leave and congratulate us. It was really cool to see all that support, so thank you. Lastly, thanks parents. You guys do a few things here in the Air Force. Now, I know everyone, including me, is tired of hearing Corona this and Corona that. But it's kind of hard not to acknowledge. It has changed and is still changing our lives each day. Who knew that we would leave for spring break and never have another class at LHS? We missed out on so much. Our last sports season, music concert, forensics competition, our last prom, tailgating in the parking lot. We didn't even get a chance to say goodbye to all of our friends. Some of you might not be able to say bye to Matthew, who soon will be serving our country in the army. This pandemic came out of nowhere. It stopped our lives. At one moment, I was annoyed that I had to go back to school after spring break, but the next I was yelling because I was so happy that I had cancer. And yes, that attitude eventually changed when I realized what I had lost. It just comes to show how quickly and unexpectedly things can change. Greek philosopher Heraclitus said, the only constant in life is change. So much has changed in these last few months, and it's been a real reminder to me of how important it is to take action and to take control. You never know when something might suddenly cease to exist, or when you will see someone for the last time. So don't put things off for a while. <coughs> Jack, <coughs> excuse me. Take control of what you can, when you can. As we begin the next chapter of our lives, and go off to college, the military, or the workforce, we're going to encounter a lot of uncertainties. How do I apply for a loan? Will I get this job? Do these jeans make my butt look too big? These 
these uncertainties may scare us, but we can't let them get in our way. You have to focus on the goal and stay on track. You don't want to live, you don't want to look back and say, oh, I wish I would have done this, or oh, I should have done that. You can't live a life of regrets. I was talking with my family about what I could say in this speech, and Lydia, my older sister, brought up a video she had seen. It was a social experiment where a chalkboard was put out and people were asked to write their biggest regrets. By the end, the chalkboard was filled, and most of the responses had something in common. They all had the word not before them. Not getting out of my comfort zone, not going to med school, not pursuing an active career, not having kids. They all were regrets of something they didn't do. Yes, it's nearly impossible to live a life with no regrets. It's something that's just going to happen. But at the same time, to some extent, it's something you can't control. My good brother, Benjamin Franklin, said, Well done is better than well said. Saying you're going to do it and actually doing it are two different things. Saying you want to is nothing unless you actually do it. You can't expect any results if you don't put forth any effort. And most importantly, you won't get any results unless you start. I encourage you to take action. Propose your new idea. Take risks. Don't worry about making a mistake. Be the first to make a change. And don't be afraid to speak up. Class of 2020, it's been real. Congratulations. Good evening, class of 2020. When our school year started in September, I'm positive none of us would have anticipated watching your graduation ceremony virtually this evening. One of the most anticipated moments each year is graduation. Watching you seniors walk down the middle of the gym, trying to stay slow in stride with the music, seeing the smiles on your faces of accomplishment for what you have done and the excitement for what lies ahead. While at the same time, your parents watch with great pride, smiling, yet holding back a tear because they understand what a major milestone you have completed and it is one step closer to pursuing your dreams. I know it's especially hard this evening considering your graduation, but remember, it's about your accomplishment, not the ceremony that matters. We all feel terrible that you did not have one last prom you had no warning you participated in your last school activity, and no one had any idea that March 13th was the last day of school. Sophia Khan, a 2020 high school graduate from Virginia, wrote an article which is focused on seniors but applies to all of us. As she wrote, we might not get the last of our senior year, but let this become the last time we take something so expected for granted. Let this be the last time we're so focused on making it to the other side that we forget about the days in between. And have this be the last time we forget to enjoy the moments we have because we expect to have dozens more. I believe you, the Flying Arrows, class of 2020, have realized how nothing can be expected and you need to live every day to its fullest. Cherish the things you have come accustomed to while keeping family and friends as your highest priority. You have handled these unforeseen disappointments the past four months with grace and class. You are an outstanding example of all the graduates of 2020. You have not dwelled on the past, but rather focused on moving forward, controlling what you can, and appreciating and living in the moment because you have realized firsthand nothing is guaranteed. The greatest experience for me this year was traveling throughout our school district to hand deliver your diplomas. It was a reminder to those of us who had the privilege that day to be part of such a rewarding event, how amazing and special you are, and how proud we are of who you've become. Although this is not our traditional graduation ceremony, you, the class of 2020, will be the graduating class none of us will ever forget. So at this time, I would like to acknowledge that the Lancaster Senior Class has met the graduation requirements established by the Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction, as well as the Lancaster School Board. 
So it is with great pride and honor that I present to you the graduating class of 2020. Congratulations and thank you. Raina May Addison. Mason Riley Atkinson. Sebastian Eric Joseph Benitez. Chelsea Lynn Byer. Erica Ann Burkett. Dawson Charles Bowen. Elena Jennifer Carl. Brooklyn J. Connolly. Tron Christopher Covington. Mason Aaron Crooks. Matthew Nicholas Juan Crosby. Kayla Patricia Cummins. Morgan Ella DeBurr. Jeremiah D. Dressler. Ryan Michael Gallinger. Connor J. Gates. Austin William Hawes. Corey Christopher Hawn. Kylie Robin Hale. Kennedy Eileen Handel. Sonny Day Hinckley. Wesley Nicholas Laverne Hoffman. Jeremiah Raymond Ein. Kendra Jade Kindry. Dawson Daniel Klein. Gracie Marie Klein. Dane Patrick Kinster. Taylor Lynn Landon Hartline. Cade Michael Lenz. Chelsea May Letcher. Ian Gregory Martin. Hunter Matthew Moore. Aaron Robert Lay Murphy. Kenneth Laverne Knee Collins. Jake Ralph Nickel. Davin Bradley Nolte. Kelly Oyen. Alyssa Marie Petera. Weston Henry Pink. Isaiah John Place. Lindsay Marie Poole. Cora Joe Reiter. Nicholas John Riedel. Logan John Schneider. Jaden Michael Schramm. Brooke Madison Schwab. Abigail Christine Springer. Jacob M. Stufflu. Caden Hunter Straka. Aubrey Elizabeth Streif. Haley Marie Timmerman. 
Jackson Thomas Upana, James Douglas Vincent, Caitlin Amber Wagger, Aaron Marie Walker, Alexa Catherine Weber, Dustin A. Wolf. Class of 2020, please join me in moving your tassels. And congratulations. Please join me in moving your tassels and congratulations.